In this video, we will learn how to access remote desktop of a Linux server. So, we all know that in Windows server, RDP or remote desktop is an inbuilt feature, but in Linux server, we have to install Tiger VNC and also in desktop, we have to install the VNC viewer. Using the VNC viewer tool, we will take remote desktop of a Linux server. So, in this video, we will learn how to install Tiger VNC in a Linux server. Friends, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Also, don't skip the video, watch till end. Let's start the configuration. To install the Tiger VNC, we have to use the command yarn install Tiger VNC star. It will install all the packages that is Tiger VNC icon, license, server, Tiger VNC applet, minimal and module. But if in your server YAM is not configured properly, you can install only Tiger VNC and Tiger VNC server. Both these packages also work properly, but I am going to install all packages. Press Y to install all the packages. Yes, now you can see that all the packages installed properly. So now what we will do? Now we will create a user. Using that user, we will take the remote desktop of the server. So to creating the user, you will use the command user at. Let's say I am using the user. I will add the user, user at RDP user and now we will set the password. Yes, password is configured. Now what we will do? We will log in with the, we will switch to the RDP user. Now we are in RTP user prompt. So what we will do? Now next step is create the VNC password. Remember here we have to press no. Then exit from the user prompt. Then now what we will do? We will copy the VNC service using command cp slash leave system d system VNC service to which path slash etc system d system then here we will change like which port we can use that will be with colon 7 I am defining the port here is 7 ok yes that service is copied now we will modify that port Here we will add the user using that user we will take the remote desktop RDP USA user. Now we will save the file then we will enable the service and restart the service. System CTL enable the service 
then we will start the service. Yes, service started. Let us check the status. Yes, service is running. Let us check we are able to connect or not. In, in desktop, we have to use the VNC viewer. Here in my desktop, I have already installed the VNC viewer. For your case, if you have not installed it, you can download the package from the internet and you can install it. Here remember, we have to use the IP address. This is the IP. Colon. 5907. Remember, we have created the service with uh, port 7 and we have to add here 5907. That means, what number we have used there, we have to add with 590. That means, 5907. Let us check, it is connecting or not connecting. Okay. Now, it is not working because in my desktop, in my service, in my server, firewall service is running. Yes, firewall is running. So, I have to allow the that port so that it will allow me to connect from my desktop. The command will be firewall hyphen cmd minus minus z o n e zone public sorry zone is equal to public minus minus add hyphen p o r t equals to 5907 slash tcp hyphen hyphen permanent yes that port added now we have to reload the firewall service firewall hyphen cmd minus minus reload yes port added and reloaded now you can check again Yes, you can see that it is asking for me the password. Now, you can check that yes, you can see I am able to connect the remote desktop of my server. Remember here one thing, do not log out the this user. If you log out this user from here, then you have to restart the VNC service from your server. If you will, if you will only close here after your work completed, if you will close here, you can able to log in any more time, but if you log out, if you log out here, then no more you will be able to connect. You have to restart the VNC service. Yes, you can see that now I am unable to log in using that user because that user is already logged off. So, here I have to restart the VNC service. Let us try again. Still it is not working. So, remember do not log out the user only close from the prompt because if you log out this type of error will happen. Yes, now it is connecting.
okay thank you thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment thank you